LeBron James haters make me sick. What's up, guys? My name is DJ Eastwood, and this is Run It Back. LeBron James haters are unbelievable. The hate for this man is not only completely unwarranted and unjust, but it's deeper than that. It actually has nothing to do with him, but has everything to do with what's inside of every soulless, suffering, miserable person full of hate, envy, and jealousy. They are so unhappy in life that they subconsciously hate greatness in general. They don't even know why they hate him. Seriously, ask one of them. Let's start off with this. If all you haters could ask yourself what's wrong with the world and the youth and the education system, LeBron James is actually the exact person that you should love. The problem is that he's great, and you can't bring yourself to love greatness. You just can't do it. LeBron grew up with no father. His mother raised him in a poor community in the middle of Ohio. Imagine that. Have you ever been to Ohio? No, nobody has. It's known for an annoying football team and a baseball team named after Indians, which what they mean is Native Americans, but they call them Indians because Columbus was a pompous moron, just like the owners of the Cleveland Indians. Should the owner of your local Dunkin' Donuts really be the mascot for your baseball team? Okay, this isn't an Ohio bashing video. And the Indian joke was just a joke. Everybody calm down. Let's get back to LeBron James. Being without a father, LeBron James could have gotten into a lot of things. He could have been a drug dealer. He could have been a womanizer. He could have been a gang-banging, thugged-out hooligan running the streets. But he wasn't. He kept his head on straight. He focused on what he needed to focus on. He believed in himself. He stayed positive, And he became one of the greatest basketball players to ever walk the earth. When he got in the NBA, he could have let the money change him. He could have turned into a rich asshole. He could act too good for normal people. He could have had children of multiple women, hanging out in nightclubs with rappers, popping bottles of Hennessy, banging strippers who look like Cardi B, and risking his career every night playing Russian roulette with HIV. Sorry, Magic. But he didn't. Again, he kept his head on straight, stayed positive, and focused on what he needed to focus on. LeBron James is the father that he never had. He is there for his son 110% because he knows what it's like to grow up without one. He is a role model to your kids. He's probably better for your kids than you are because you teach your kids hate. LeBron is not only an amazing father and a stand-up citizen, he builds entire schools for inner-city youth. How many athletes do you know who do that? I'll wait. See, but you guys hate greatness so much that with all of these positives in his favor, you nitpick any little thing you can find to hate him for. Like leaving the abysmal franchise of the Cleveland Cavaliers, who in seven seasons delivered him on a silver platter, none other than Zydrunas Elgowskis and Mo Williams as teammates to try to win a championship. So he bounced. And if you were smart, you would have too. But you all said, oh, he couldn't hang it in Cleveland. He couldn't stay with the team that drafted him like Jordan did. He had to leave and go form a super team so he could win. The Bulls gave Jordan Scottie Pippen. I'm not going to get into the Jordan thing. It's too much. Back to LeBron James. The most recent thing people hate him for is a layup line. At his son's basketball game? A layup line? LeBron James, one of the greatest basketball players ever, joins a layup line to put on a free show for fans and the kids that are in the line. I got to do, I got to do a layup line with LeBron James. I got to watch LeBron James dunk the ball right in front of me. But no, the haters said this, LeBron needs the spotlight. LeBron's taking the shine away from his own son and those high school kids. How dare him? He has to be the center of attention. He's taking the shine away from those innocent children to put on a show in a high school gym. Are you serious? Are you guys serious, man? Come on. There's no way you're serious. The guy dominated the NBA for 15 years. He won championships at the highest level. He's literally performed on the highest stage with and against the greatest basketball players in the world. Do you really think he needs to show off in a high school gym to make himself feel good? To prove something? No. 
He's a famous athlete. And people are excited that he's in the gym. So they literally start chanting, we want LeBron. And being humble and selfless, he decides, yeah, I should put on a free show really quick for these loving fans. And in doing something fun and beneficial for everyone involved, you guys find a way to spin it into hate. Of course. I shouldn't be surprised. I really shouldn't. You hate yourselves. It's what you do. Also, Jason Whitlock is a cuck. This weekend, new footage emerged of LeBron performing his super dad routine at LeBron Jr.'s AAU game. LeBron joined his son in the pregame layup line, executing an assortment of dunks. Once play got underway, LeBron celebrated wildly on the sideline and on the court. This is all pretty much standard operating procedure for LeBron at his son's games. I'm sure someone has convinced LeBron that the subsequent viral videos are a good thing. In his mind, LeBron is making fatherhood cool and fun again. I disagree. I disagree. This has been Run It Back. I'm DJ Eastwood. I'll see you guys next time.